What's up everybody? This is Jeff Bernard with Solve Systems and today we're going to go over how to get a user created in Paylocity, fire a webhook into Power Automate, and then create a user in Azure AD. So this can help speed up the creation of users for your IT infrastructure. You could do many more things with this uh, and elaborate it to be able to add SKUs and license people in Office 365. You can add people to other systems if uh, uh, your other systems have APIs. So this is sort of the central starting point uh, for a lot of companies if they use Paylocity for their HR suite. So let's dive into it and look at a diagram and then we'll look at the practical side of building this. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. You're going to, uh, we're going to emulate the Paylocity webhook because we don't have it set up right now with Paylocity. However, um, this can be set up with Paylocity web services. You'll generate the webhook in Power Automate. You'll give it to them and then uh, make sure you notate that it's for the created employee uh, webhook uh, and they'll set it up and then it'll fire it through Power Automate. Uh, they'll give you a sandbox environment and a live environment. Uh, one thing to note here is that the existing Power Automate uh, connectors for Paylocity that are supported by them actually are no longer supported. So they haven't removed them, a little confusing there, um, but I confirmed it with them and they confirm it in the documentation, uh, which we'll go over before we look at the Power Automate side of things. So it's going to go straight through, fire it, uh, and then create the user in AD. So let's look at that documentation right now. So you can actually look up the documentation by just Googling Paylocity API integration. Um, you'll see some of my videos along with their documentation. And then uh, you'll navigate to the webhook section and then new hire webhook. So they have quite a few fields here. Uh, it's going to be the main fields that are on the employee object within their API. Company ID, name, um, address, cost centers are one thing to focus on. Uh, you can think about this as if you had like locations for your business. They're typically the cost centers, stores if you're a retail store, uh, offices if you are a multi-office company. And uh, so every company is going to be set up the same. These fields are going to be what you're going to map for locations um, and departments in Azure AD. And then obviously the first name and then your last name job title. Uh, you can see their supervisor in here as well. And so we can map all these things to Office 365 for the employee profile within there and Azure AD, of course, which that's the back end of Office 365. So uh, yeah, we'll get into it right now and do a simple integration. So there is a caveat to uh, adding a user in uh, Azure AD and that caveat is creating a password. So we're going to have to create a random password and we can do that by getting someone else's code for this. And so what we're going to do is go to this forum random password generator and I'll include a link in the description but we're going to download this random password generator. I've already downloaded it so we'll import it. Go in legacy import We'll upload. Takes a second to upload. All right, green check, let's go. Let's go to the flows and then we will, takes a second to pop up here sometimes. But we will, okay, so Paylocity create user. We're gonna go straight in there and we're gonna make some changes to that. And the changes we're gonna make is we're gonna delete this manual trigger we're going to type HTTP. That's not how you spell it, but that's fine. We'll get a request. When a request is received. So from here, what I'm gonna do is go get the body for the create employee webhook and paste it in here. So this is what it's gonna look like. This is just a bunch of fake data. And then we will save it. It's saved, and then 
we can just run through this real quick. It's going to give you the password length. So if your particular organization has certain requirements, then you would set those here. Number of passwords. We're going to do one because we only need one password. And then this is going to do a bunch of cool stuff where it basically does a bunch of switch cases and gets characters, generates random passwords, shuffles the order, does all the cryptographic things, I guess random number things, random letter things too. And then we'll get the output of it. From here, we're going to add in a Azure AD create user function. We'll say account enabled. We'll go username, first name, and you actually don't even need a parse JSON uh, function here or action block because it's kind of redundant. Uh, and then we will get the last name. We'll just copy this, make this the same for everything. Email nickname will be dot. Uh, password will be the output of the list of random password. Principal username right here. We need to give it the uh, email name. So the first name, last name at the domain. And then show advanced options. So here, this is where you can use your cost centers, your job title, uh, and then you would have to assign who they report to with other uh, logic app function. But this is gets you far enough along to where you can create the user in AD and then you can add licensing through the Microsoft graph. Uh, that's one way to do it. There's several other ways. You can even trigger on-prem shell scripts that create a user in Azure AD, or I guess it's not Azure AD, it's Active Directory on-prem, and then force sync back up to uh, Active Directory in the cloud. So let's test this out. We'll save it. We'll run it. We'll have to enable it first. And give it a test. Actually, what we'll need to do is copy this. We'll throw it into Postman. So this is what it looks like in Postman right here. We'll do a post request to that webhook with some fake data. Okay, it was accepted. We'll go look at the... There we go, it succeeded. So what it did, request came in the, on the webhook. We generated a password. Random password is here. Create the user. And then you could then pass this on to the user in an email, the personal email from Paylocity, right? Any other sort of integration from here sort of up to you, we can absolutely Discuss that if you want to reach out to me on what that looks like for your organization. Uh, but lastly, we'll look at that user uh, in AD. And you'll see here we have John Doe created. Pretty cool. Uh, and you can automate your entire infrastructure to create users with approvals. Sort of anything you can think of here, uh, as long as it has an API and it's cloud connected. Um, you can, if you can dream it, we can build it. So uh, I look forward to doing more of these. And um, yep, yeah, reach out to me if you need, have any questions. And uh, you can actually download this code by going to the link uh, and follow it to our website and download it there. And uh, it'll get you going a little quicker. So hope this was helpful. Let me know, like, and subscribe for more of our content. And we'll talk to you later.